First I'm going to show you some basic safety tips and how to hold the tools. I always carve using a sticky mat. This is sold in hardware stores and grocery stores as a drawer liner or you could use something that was sold as a rug backer. Um, it's kind of rubbery and keeps the block from sliding too much as opposed to sliding on a bare table. The reason that helps you carve more safely is the most common carving injuries happen when you are holding the block with your non-carving hand and pushing a gouge with your carving hand and you slip into your holding hand. So look at my hands now and think, no. The better way to carve and keep your hands safe is to do a crossover. Hold the block with your non-carving hand below the area that you're going to carve with a gouge. Now a gouge you, you use by pushing it away from yourself. And see how my, the gouge is in the palm of my hand and then I'm holding it with the top of my hand. So this is a U gouge and use it in a scooping motion. Don't dig too deep into your block or you'll get stuck. So you use a, a scooping motion like that to make small cuts. You can curve the cuts as well. Another safe place to put your non-carving hand is with your carving hand and use them together to guide the tool and use the heels of your hands to help stabilize the block. So a lot of times I'll carve this way, two-handed. You can also hold it like a pencil and then you don't have any force here from your palm so I use the non-carving hand to push with my thumb. The small U-gouge works the same way as the large U-gouge except it makes a smaller cut. With the small U-gouge be especially careful not to push it too far into the wood because the little edges of the gouge if they get dug down into the wood, they won't come out cleanly and you'll get little snags. So that's too deep for this tool. You only want part of the U to go into the wood. So you can use gouges to create expressive texture marks or to define a shape. A V gouge you use the same way as the U gouge. It is shaped like a V and again you don't push it in very far and you always come up at the end by tipping it up to give a little tapered end to your mark. And you can also do textured areas with the V-gouge. You'll notice it feels different to carve with the grain as opposed to against the grain and even sounds different. 